Hallo und einen wunderschönen guten Abend hier vom Schloss de Colombe in saint Baudel. Uh, uns geht es darum, euch zu zeigen, wie viele Kronleuchter und Leuchter generell man in einem Tag abhängen, umhängen und reparieren kann. Bonjour tout le monde, bienvenue à Jeanette de Chateau de Colombe in saint Baudel. And now to English speaking friends from around the world, what are we doing? Well, first let's welcome them to another episode of Journey to the Chateau. Thank you. <laughs> and uh, we are hanging and rehanging light fixtures. Well, crystal chandeliers mostly, mm. and they also need to be repaired. Mm. And they weigh a ton. Mm. And, and you <laughs> encountered all different types of, of electrical problems. Oh, good grief. Yes, I did. <laughs> So this area, of course, was, well, what I mean, of course, uh, had been rewired mm -hmm. already, which is lovely. Can we just talk about why we do this? Why we're doing this? Yes. Uh, because we don't really care for this light fixture. Yeah. This light fixture is not really appropriate for a chateau. <laughs> uh, well, we see them on Pocom. We do. Yeah, there are people who actually uh, have a lot of these type for sale. One wonders. But I would say that's, uh, I don't know. Very 80s, I think, don't you? I was thinking it was a little earlier than that, but 70s could, could possible, be, yeah. of course. It's dark screw and dark fitting. It's always my favorite. <laughs> what do you think, sir? I mean, come on, who wouldn't love oh, that? Well, right? at least it's a, there's a good size hook in that one. It is. We hadn't taken that down yet, right? So we haven't seen the inside of that one. That is true. Yeah. What I do not understand is, is it why? Is taped down there? Yes, and it's the earth that they taped. Why? Oh, okay. Send it to me, please. Thank you. Got it. I mean, it has the earth here, and they did this. I, I have no idea. It's not what you do. Oops. It's the little sucker. Okay. Of course, this light fixture is without earth. There's a the shoulder. It's not ancient, by all means. Okay. No, and it had, does already have the modern clip on the wire. Yeah, too, yes. So it was re-hung, but it wasn't particularly rewired. Okay. Why well, I just did that? Don't ask. Don't. Just don't. Don't go there. <laughs> My dear. Nessa's getting entertained with a lot of... Yes, we have some audio going on in the background. as <laughs> background noise for her in the other room. I didn't quite realize how loud that was going to be out here, but... Yeah, I, I have no idea. Just... Uh... But she enjoys it. Because after her surgery, she's still separate. But she's doing really well. Yes. 
if you'd like to try it. Okay. Oh, goodness, it's working. Okay. There we go. Very nice. Nice Yay. and bright too. Yeah, this was it was very dull. I mean, very low. But, oh, this is nice. And this is very appropriate for a hallway. Yeah. Uh, in a chateau style, I'm very happy about that. So with this here and upstairs, we have a crystal chandelier, a little one. Adorable. Okay, nice. So, one down. light fixture number one complete. Moving so, on. Yes. Okay, now we're in the linen room. This is light fixture change out number two. Make it sound like a chore. It is. <laughs> and this one we are going to reuse. Yes. Are we? Yes, it actually is I a nice. I know we are. It's a nice little light fixture, actually. It's very cute. We like it a lot. Yeah. I don't know how many rooms we have upstairs that need fixture changes. Can't tell you. Oh, uh, still, quite, still quite a few, I think, yeah. Oh, <laughs> yeah. One. Try to count. One, two, three, four, five, seven. And one wall sconce. You count that one? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Ah. Okay, so I got it off. Okay. Here's the... Who was that? Thank you. Oh, no, let me guess. <laughs> yes. Bozo the dog. Sorry, but it's true. So we'll snip this and... If anyone is interested, yes, the power is off. Yes, that would explain the darkness. Well, and me not... Going ah, up here. <laughs> so, both sides of the wires were so extremely long, and the, the, the point of these connectors is that they don't have to come out on the other side of this connector and wave at you in order to work. So, whoever did this, yeah, never mind. Yeah. See, and I don't know how this is going to look for us uh, because this is the big chandelier, well, right. one of them. <laughs> we have now, what, three, four, five big chandeliers in the works. And this one is already done. Here we go. That is appropriate for this room. It looks it looks really nice, and it's a uh, nice height above the head. And yes, everything. it's great. Which I'm done with it. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna turn it back on. Okay. Ah, oh, very nice. Yeah, it's lovely in this room because it's such a tall room, and yay. I can only clean the bottom crystals standing up. <laughs> okay, that's number two. And we're moving on. Yes. Let's see what this is gonna bring. Oh, a lower ceiling. Yes. <laughs> so I'm in between steps here. Oopa. Very tight. Oh, okay, fine. That was very tight. 
very what on earth Let's look at that did anyone ever tell people who did this that uh, I don't, they don't need to leave all the extra wire no they don't and it is uh so there's a patent on this which makes sense right so um what you do with this kind of uh, fixture, the wires come in on one side and then they come out on the other. Oh. They put all of them on the on one, one side. side. So whoever put this in, I don't want to hurt your feelings, but that was stupid. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, good Lord, is that stupid. I, I really have no words for this. I mean, it's such a simple way to do things right yes you're and you can screw up simplicity that is just really bad yeah oh, lovely well let me move the ladder can we just tell talk about what our dog's barking at can i take a guess of what they're barking at well we know what they're barking at so it's harvest time Yay. Okay. <laughs> there we go. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, we're going to have here. Of course, as always, we leave things, wires, way too long. There's no need for that either. Yes, that's, that's pretty good for the moment. We're ready for the new light fixture. Yes. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. One, two, five. There we go. Beautiful. Okay, I think I can do this now. Okay. Okay. And now, let me. So we'll go get the power back on. Yes. And then we'll try it, see if it works. Okay. Oh. Hey. It does work. So three more light bulbs. Number, right? Yes, we need three more bulbs in wow. that. And that is light fixture number three. Fantastic. This is my, by long shot, least favorite light fixture in the chateau. Yeah, I'd have, I have to agree with you. Yeah. Okay, so whoever did this was actually not stupid. What they have done every time is to run it completely through so you can't just pull it out because it's, I mean, it's two right. screws. Right. Yes. That's great. That was not the intended thing, but get it off, I think. Yep. Here we go. Hooray. Okay. Yes. It's just the delight today, isn't it? Mm -hmm. it's, it's just why, why, why can't people do their jobs properly? Oh, oh this is here. There. Now you can turn it on. Yay. Very nice. The ugliest light fixture is gone. Yes. I mean, two bad ones, but that was the ugliest by long shot. 
Oh, lovely. <laughs> I need no weapon. Oh, we can hang it up and then we put the box underneath. Okay. And up. Thank you. Okay. This needs to be soldered. This needs to be soldered. Yep. Because otherwise it's not pretty. Okay, you need to stop that. <laughs> Just say. Right, so this is the chandelier that is for this room. And this is the one that Patrick is working on rewiring uh, the actual, all the crystals and cleaning them at the same time. Yes, and it's hundreds of them. Yes. Uh, it's stunning and it's really a beautiful cage. which I just uh, brutally repaired. So what happened is that someone, when they lifted the chandelier, yeah, actually they, lifted it on these. They picked it up, picked it up. So, and it's so heavy. I mean, right. just this cage is incredibly heavy. So someone just pulled them up and then they bend outwards. I'm just glad I didn't uh, break anything, but this is how it's supposed to be. <laughs> One that was really far out, right. two that were kind of wonky. Right. Uh, now that's nice. And yes, so I'm working on re stringing up every single crystal. And uh, quite frankly, it's a bit mind numbing work. Yeah. As well as uh, adding additional crystals that were missing. Yes, so we got the crystals that belong in here. Uh, at auctions. So that is, that's going to be a complete chandelier again. Uh, going up there, uh, the steward is working on the rosette after I was done with what I was doing. Uh, so he's doing some detail work. Yeah. And once I'm done, we can, with the crystals, we can um, hang it up because the center rosette will not then not be worked on anymore. Right. Okay, and that is chandelier number five. This is chandelier number six. Um, <clears throat> this is our little private salon, which is quite decorated. <laughs> it. it needs a lot of work. Um, yeah. So there's a chain hanging there. We did uh, at an auction. Uh, purchase um, about 1890 to 1900 Venetian chandelier needs to be all rewired and um, and I'm having this the the centerpiece here we're gonna hang it up now because we are slowly starting to renovate it when we're sick and tired of bathrooms <clears throat> okay it is absolutely stunning And we have all the parts that go with it. Oh, but sorry. I did try it, promise. So don't be like, aha. Uh aha, -huh. uh -huh. there we go. There it is. Yeah, so yeah, it's got some work. Uh, it had been wired for electricity. Already? Like, uh, our electrician John said this is about uh, the wiring is, is, is over 100 years old. Yeah. Yeah, so we are going to work on rewiring that.
and so this here, the, the oldest Muranos, uh, their, uh, their elements were in square. Right, right. Peck holes. 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 I mean, <laughs> square <laughs> holes. holes. Yes. Um, and which was very difficult, made it very difficult to fit them. So then they went to round ones. So we have all of those. Uh, we have the flowers. We have the leaves. Uh, we have the center element, which is lovely. Um, but we also have the wiring already that we need, which is clear. Right. So when it comes to the arms, and um, they're not hollow. Like today, you can put the newer ones since the 30s and 40s. You can have the wiring inside the arms. Right. Ours are solid. Right. So you can't. You have to put the wiring on the outside, and with very very thin silver wire, uh, tighten them up so they really are. Uh, a nice fit around the arms going to the fittings and then we can uh, get that all set up yeah completely exciting so just just for fun the restringing of the the wiring um that Fauke and Geshe have so wonderfully removed which it was old it was deteriorated it was rusted so it was very dark uh, so now restringing this, this has way over 400 crystals that I am working with. Mm -hmm. Um, it's a bit tedious to be honest, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, once it's all done and then uh, I have basically almost all of them are polished, mm -hmm. but the last hundred, uh, 150, uh, <laughs> I mean, come on. Um, it, the, the, the difference is just sounding and that, that makes it then fun. And now talking about the Venetian chandelier. Right. So uh, the, the location of our own small salon is not going to be the final location for the Venetian chandelier. No. No. That is actually going to be a chandelier that we're going to use in one of the two bed and breakfast rooms. Well, the first one that we're, right. the one that we're working we've on. We've already now. started the renovation for, yeah. Um, it is so pretty. And I mean, it's so old. Mm -hmm. uh, hundred. 120 to 130 years old they that they're pretty rare at that age new ones yes you can mm -hmm. find them and, and you can go on ebay or whatever auction site you, you would like you, you will find them but this one was a lucky lucky find at the oh, auction yeah. and it was one of those moments when Stuart looked at me and he's not the biggest fan of <laughs> religion i haven't yeah. been no, but I'm sort of converting now, I think. It's, well, it was funny because Stuart looked at me and he said, you know, you don't have to buy it or bid on it just because it's cheap, which is correct. <laughs> right. <laughs> yes. But so then he saw this briefly hanging up at the auction house and he was mm, still not convinced. And then we unpacked it here and, and actually did provisionally put it together once. And you were quite taken by it because it's... Right, and I think that's that's because uh, it's not a big carnival of colors, right? Right, so, and I think that's why I like it is because uh, it's not like some of the other ones that I've seen that I don't care for, which you know they look like a circus. So, well, and a lot of them are from the fifties and sixties, so they're very uh, multicolor right. um, and very intense colors. And, and not that we don't like intense colors, but. So, uh, it, it was just one of those things that, um, was a lucky, lucky find mm -hmm. and we're thrilled that we have everything together for it. Yeah. And so that's an, well, Stuart is working on the center rosette of the great sal in the salon. Grand salon. Yes. And once he's done on, with that, mm -hmm. the chandelier will go up the cage. I will, um, get that. Or hung all, all the crystals in there. Right. Uh, my calves are going to hurt again because then you're standing on that ladder for like two hours hanging this all. But it's it's well worth it. Trust me. It, it truly is. Um, right. So uh, one of the things, we have some things to update for people because people have been asking about uh, things like the poles outside. Uh, do you want to give any kind of an update about what's going on with the you poles? You can only give an update if there is one. There's well, uh, nothing. Our, our mayor is trying right. to get that, especially the one pole moved. Um, what right. we don't understand is why it's not underground. But they do fiber optic 
in rural communities here uh, above ground. And we drove today to pick up actually uh, something for that um, upper bath, a new bathroom for the bed and breakfast room. And every, there was not a single community we drove through where there were poles nope. with fiber optic or anything else on it. Nope. So. <laughs> uh, we're the lucky ones. Yes. Yeah. So uh, one other thing is uh, the JIT rental is doing really well. Yes. And we are mostly booked for all of July. Yes. And the first week of August, weekend of August. Right. We have one of our patrons coming mm -hmm. that she's in Paris right now. Mm -hmm. uh, that is really exciting. Mm -hmm. um, and she has requested to actually do some work on a special project, but we're not going to tell you what it is yet. Because <laughs> no. it's, uh, that, you know, it's, uh, I, I thought it was just wonderful that she and her friend wanted to just approach that. Because it's one of those back burner projects that feels like, oh, I would love to work on it, but it is just the two of us. And I think what sometimes is hard to grasp mm. is that, so we are, for the most part, the building crew, we are the janitors. Mm. Uh, we are the cooks, the cleaning personnel, we are the gardeners, mm -hmm. and we are the hosts. And so add this all up. Oh, the administrators. I forgot that part. Mm -hmm. Add this all up. So it's not that we are dealing with, you know, we're not living in a, in a perfect home <laughs> and say, oh, we are today, we're just going to do a little bit of gardening and then we're done. Mm -hmm. We don't even make a dent. <laughs> It's true. But we're making progress. That's right. that's really the, the most important part. Right. And that's that's when it, you know it's, it's fun. Right. And so one of the other things that makes a July very busy for us is because both of our birthdays are in July. Yes. That so mid July our birthdays are coming up. Mm -hmm. Uh my parents announced that they are coming mm -hmm. and my mother's birthday is the day before mine. Mm -hmm. So it's my uh and our patron Donna, her birthday is the 14th of July. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's 14th, 16th, 18th, and 19th. And we're right. going uh, to have our first actual birthday party here because last year we didn't know anyone. <laughs> it's just us. No, I don't even remember my birthday here last year. So, um, so it's, it, that's, it's going to be a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. And we're going to have a, a dinner party. Um, hopefully we are able to set a table uh, outside in the courtyard. And that is, well, I am excited about that. That will be fun. So, yes. uh, and then Friday is a whole episode. Oh, what are we doing? This Friday? Well, we have a very large harvest of plums. Oh, yeah, wild plums. So, Stunning. Yeah. It, just today, I went out there for half an hour and it's, it's, it's over. So, the, the, they, yeah. it's... Within one week, it's uh, we harvested about 25 kilo. That is what almost 60, 60 pounds of plums. And we're almost done juicing them. I'm staring at the sink because there's the last batch which I'm going to do tonight. Uh, it's it's fantastic. Yeah, and we'll share that with you on Friday. Right. Oh, never right. mind. I digress. Sorry. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Can't help it. Sorry. Yeah. Um, now, on, on, uh, if you like this episode, mm -hmm. please subscribe. Uh, it helps us tremendously. Uh, like and recommend us to your friends and families. Friends and families. Mm. Mm -hmm. uh, see you on Friday. Okay. A biento. A Bye. Bye. <laughs> if you enjoyed this video, please use the like feature to let us know. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our Journey to the Chateau YouTube channel if you would like to see more. Once you've subscribed, you can tap the notification bell in order to ring it, which will allow you to receive all notifications from our channel. Thank you.